Hello everybody, my name is Dratnus and welcome to my guide to the bursting affix. So what is bursting? Bursting is an affix that means that whenever trash mobs die, with the exception of a couple of trash mobs like uh, abyss lurkers and eels in Shrine of the Storm for instance, uh, they will give you a stack of this debuff called burst. And that debuff deals 5% of your maximum health every one second for four seconds. So each stack is going to deal 20% of your health. Uh, and the effect will stack for each of the mobs that you kill, and each mob that you kill will refresh the duration of the stacks. So how do we handle bursting? The first place is when you're designing your routes. As you size your pulls, you need to consider that as you start adding bursting over the fifth stack, it actually becomes lethal by itself. Those first five stacks of bursting, because each one only deals 20% of a player's health, uh, is not they can't actually kill a player without external damage having been involved somewhere along the way. But when you start getting to the 7th, the 8th, the ninth, the 10th stack of Bursting, by the time you've added that 10th stack of Bursting, now your healer has to cover the entire health bar of your group. They have to heal that much for each player in the group during those 4 seconds in order to prevent any deaths. Now this can be helped greatly de with defensives, but it still means that those 10 stacks are very lethal, and they're more than twice as lethal as 5 stacks, so be ready of that. One other thing you can do is you can hold your DPS. When you're killing packs, uh, if you are careful, and you're killing eight mobs at once, you can do that as two four stacks instead of one eight stack, and that'll really help. But the primary thing that you need to do with bursting is as your DPS, you need to not refresh any stacks. What this means is that once that four stack, once that five stack has been ticking, once it's ticked once or twice, you should do everything in your power to not kill any more mobs until the stack has disappeared from you. This table shows what happens if you fail at this principle and you do refresh your stacks. The assumption in the rightmost column here is that you've had two ticks of the previous amount of stacks go off, and now you refresh and you have to deal with four full ticks of the next stack level, so of the eight stack level. So for instance, we can see in the eight row, uh, normally it deals 160% of a player's health in damage, but if, it had, if you'd let two ticks of a seven stack go off and then you refresh to an eight stack, instead it's gonna deal 230% of each player's health in damage. And you can see this very quickly goes out of hand, if you let three ticks go off and then you refresh, you're in for just a huge amount of trouble. And the worst thing that can happen, and this has happened to our group sometimes, is you have a six stack, it ticks three times, you refresh it. Now it's a seven stack, it ticks three times, you refresh it, it's an eight stack, everybody's dead. That kind of thing is what you really need to avoid with bursting. But there are also some abilities that your group can have that can help with this. The first way that members of your group can really help with bursting is by managing the other damage. As I was talking about, bursting itself doesn't deal all that much damage in low stack amounts by itself. But if there's other external damage coming in from mobs at the time, that'll be a real problem. So using your interrupts and stuns and saving those for when mobs start dying and for when you're dealing with bursting stacks is a really crucial way to help manage this. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that defensives are a huge help here too. You're taking so much damage from each of these bursting stacks, it's going to be such a high percentage of your damage taken over the course of the dungeon that using abilities like your, you know, your various shield wall effects, your immunities like Cloak of Shadows on bursting stacks, because of course it is magic damage so you can cloak it, uh, that is a really useful thing to do to help make it more manageable. And even if just one person in your group does it, that means your healer only has to focus on four people to save them from that buff or from the debuff. That'll make it a lot easier on them. The other thing that makes it a lot easier on your healer is off heals. Things like Retribution Paladin's Word of Glory, that's the icon I picked here uh, for the off heals thing, that's going to be really effective uh, at taking some of the load off your healer because again, there's a very short window here, only a couple globals while the debuff is ticking. So if you can get a, a, an extra off heal in there, that's going to maybe save somebody's life and that's huge. The last tip I have for you is actually a bit counterintuitive. Drop your stamina buff. Bursting deals damage that scales with your maximum health. So the less health you have, the less damage it deals. You can actually you can rebuff your stamina for boss fights because you're not going to get bursting stacks during them and that might help to save from one shots. But when you're doing trash and when you're getting bursting stacks, drop your stamina buff and you'll have a lot easier time topping people uh, during the debuff. Thanks for watching my guide to the bursting affix. Hope this has helped you. If it has, you may enjoy some of the other content on my channel. I've got guides to other affixes like necrotic and more coming soon. I got guides to the rogue class, particularly the assassination spec, which is my main spec. Uh, and I have guides to how my group does various dungeons, like Motherload, well, like all of them actually. Got all of them, but Motherload is the coolest. You should check that one out if you're gonna check any of them out. We've got the coolest strap for that. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like the video. Those are two things that would make me really happy if you did those, so that'd be cool. And I'll see you in the next one.